Now to the fluffy tree of Gomez puzzle. And as you can see, this all you can see is trees and trees, thumbs green. There is no map. So the important thing we have to keep is keep in mind where we hit the switches, invisible switches. So we only want to walk in each square of this maze once we can help. And there will be a noise to mark when we hit the switch. So we have to hit that noise uneven number of times. And I have no recollection how many switches there are, so I know that there won't be any enemies, so only this will only take time. This won't be life threatening. There was a switch and a trunk went missing. So, one down. down three down okay three switches there's anything else here. We can safely proceed further. You can just imagine how terrible this place is if you just want to start wandering around here blindly and wonder what. But what is this noise I keep hearing from time to time? After a while you figure it out and uh, then you're... Just, it's already too late. You have to be methodical here or you're in deep trouble. Okay. There was a switch number 4, but there's a problem. We have to proceed to see if there are any more switches. So we have to keep in mind how many times we have pressed this one. There aren't any extra. There's, there we can see the little leaf. I think that's the fluffy tree of Gomez. So now when we go out we have to press the switch one extra time. So that was twice and third time. And we can safely proceed again. <laughs> I also don't have any rec recollection where do these new paths open up, so we might have to backtrack at some point. But I hope not too much. Because we have to keep separate, remembering what switches and where we have already pressed. So we don't... So... We have to keep all the switches that we have pressed and, and so, so we don't activate and deactivate the switches we haven't 
pressed. So I'm hoping we don't have to visit those old early places again. There's four switches I pressed there, I think. This, this might open up. Looks like it might. This looks like a switch place. Maybe. Yes. Or put in on position, I should say, since you can keep pressing them as long as you like. Which is the bigger problem of this stage. If you could only press them once, this would be pretty easy, only take some time. But since you can, there are the you have the freedom to make mistakes, this can be very painful. Getting lost here. I have trouble remembering where I have been and where not. So this can also become a problem. Okay, there was a switch. Another and a third time. So it's now on. Another switch, it's on. So now we have to just find the place that it opened up. And I have no recollection anymore where I have been. This, this can be a, become a problem. Because now there's a big risk that I'm going to revisit places I've already been into. These places don't lead to anywhere. Yeah, I'm totally lost at this point. Maybe I can go. It appears we probably missed some earlier switch, so we can't proceed to the end at this time. We have to go back and find one of those missing switches. I think there was a road south here. 
that we didn't take. Yeah. So we have to find the sweets here and then go back there. has to be a switch here. Otherwise we are going hopelessly lost. switches but we still have this last corner to go through I don't think we have been here so maybe if we find another switch here that would be a good thing no so now we just have to remember where we were earlier and try to return to that place and I don't really remember Maybe it was here. I think we should be okay now. But since there's no no indication how many switches you have to press. It really is a bit of a guessing game. I don't think we've been here before, so that's a good sign. goddamn maze get finally get out of here and we avoided pressing the button buttons multiple times so just get out of here. Maybe I can just escape this area. By camping, I mean. Yes. 